All right, guys, we're in the RC car room, and behind me you can see we have the MP10E TKI2 and the MP10 TKI3 Nitro car. So, <laughs> I know it's been a while, but not making excuses. Uh, I'm sure if you're watching this, you're just a normal guy like me. You got a job, uh, social life, other things you have to do that prevent you from doing the things that you want to do and all that kind of stuff. So, and for me, like I said, I have all the car projects, the real car projects. So it's been really hard to get to the track. That was the whole reason behind wanting to build the RC car track in the backyard. And of course the real car stuff is kind of clashing with that because I have cars in the back field back there. <laughs> but they're going to have to, you know, they're going to have to share the space. But we're going to get the track back there. It's just uh, the cost of it's a little bit higher than I was wanting it to, you know, spend. But hopefully here in the next couple months, I can actually make that happen. But that's an, another day thing. <laughs> so, I've been in the RC car room for about a week now, just kind of um, going through all my stuff and finding out what I need, um, you know, what I can get rid of, stuff like that. Trying to get everything current and get everything ready to actually do some racing, hopefully in the fall. So what we're going to do is I'm probably going to keep keeping one of my old Nitro cars, the TKI, the TKI2, and using that as like a practice car for now. So we'll get some practice in with that, shake off a lot of rust so I'm not, you know, destroying a brand new car, <laughs> which would be bad. So I figured after like a week of like steady practice, maybe like two weeks of steady practice, um, I should be okay. At least I'm hoping anyway. But yeah. So that's pretty much the game plan. Like I said, we're going to get these two car these two cars built I'm not gonna not really gonna go walk you guys through like the building process stuff like that but once you get the two cars built you know I'll take the time and do the electric and the nitro separate and just show them you know to the older car and stuff like that I'll be switching all my stuff off from the old chassis to the new one since that stuff really is hasn't been used really so just doing this to get current and then I'll sell off my old chassis and everything but yeah just a, just a quick just a quick little update. Um, there's going to be a lot of RC car action happening on this channel. So if you like RC car stuff, I would greatly appreciate you stick around and support the channel because I need all the support I can get. <laughs> but yeah, it should get it should be interesting in this next couple of videos. I have a couple of videos that I think are going to be really cool. Um, if you're into the 8 scale world, you will actually probably really enjoy them. At least I hope you will. But yeah, enough of me rambling. Like I said, I just wanted to do a quick little update video and, uh, you know, let you guys, you know, know where I'm at with my RC stuff. Um, not giving up on it. I absolutely love the RC hobby. And this is always like, I know it's kind of like the downturn for nitro and stuff like that. It's towards the colder weather. But for me, it is like when I want to go run. To me, there's nothing better than like fall weather and the smell of nitro. It's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know, it just reminds me of like, you know, just being young and like my little two wheel drive low C and just like, you know, just having fun out in the backyard, just like blasting. <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. The cool, the, you know, the cooler weather and running some RC. So that's the big push for this. Um, really couldn't afford to get these two guys, but like I said, I just want to be current and, you know, that's it. Just wanted to get current, and that's the game plan. I'm gonna get these two things built. I'm gonna take my time, so I'm thinking maybe a couple of days on each of them, maybe. So give me like uh, I don't know. We'll say this coming weekend. I should have the two. Oh, that might be a stretch. <laughs> but yeah, just bear with me. Get, be a little patient. I'm gonna get them, get the two cars together, and like I said, I'll show them side by side. And I would like to take them to the track and run them individually and switch the stuff over and run them whatever but like i said i need to shake off a little bit of rust because it has been a very very long time since i've got to run any rc cars so like i told you i don't want to damage and beat up you know the new chassis because we're going to do some racing so but all right guys um that's pretty much it and uh, like i said for the guys that have hung around and stayed with the channel like i said i greatly appreciate it and uh for the people that are considering it like i said stick around it's gonna be a lot of rc car stuff a lot of real car stuff if you're into that and um yeah just a lot of car stuff 
toy car stuff and real car stuff. <laughs> Appreciate you guys sticking around, watching and supporting the channel. And uh, we'll see you at the RC car track very soon. See you guys. To a big jump. We'll see. Ha, 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 ha.